The very, very preliminary and early numbers are just starting to trickle in already. We're seeing in Broward County specifically, Charlie Chris with a solid lead as of right now. Jim, it's the night is young, so let's break this down. Yeah, so let's be clear about this. This is this is the best this is the best moment of Charlie Chris night more than likely tonight when heavily Democratic Bra Broward County comes in and he now has a well 119,000 vote lead. Trust me, this is the high water mark for him. It is a heavily Democratic Broward County, as he well wonders. as, you know, this is, you know, the Tallahassee area favors Democrats. So you're seeing some of those early things. When this map starts filling in, this is going to change pretty quickly. Are we at least expecting his his hometown area to go in his favor or not looking like that at this point? No, what do you think? Well, I, I'm, we're going to wait and see how the Tampa, St. Pete, the Hillsborough County area does. But uh, yeah, no, no, this is going to, you're going to see a lot of numbers. I'm going to be really interested in Orlando, particularly in the Senate race, mm -hmm. you know, to see if Val Demings is able to do well in her home, in her home county where she was the uh, uh, police chief for you know, 20 plus years. Here's some of those numbers right now. Again, very early numbers coming in. Val Demings and Marco Rubio are still waiting on those Orlando numbers. No real surprise here in Broward County when we're talking about Democrats, but same oh. counties basically as Chris showing up blue for Val Demings. Yeah, this is again, this is the this is the this is the highlight of the night right now for for Val Demings. We'll see how this race shakes out because let's let's move away from the map just for a second and just sort of give you an idea. The voting numbers that we've seen is that as of about an hour ago, I looked at the analysis, about 900,000 more Republicans voted than Democrats across the state. So that's a pretty significant advantage for Republicans. And let me tell you a little bit about what you're going to see in Miami-Dade County, which is telling. You're going to see that 58% of Republicans have voted versus 43 percent of Democrats. Interesting news right here in Miami-Dade County of the early numbers showing bright red. Can for we Ron show it? Let's Miami see what Dade. the Miami-Dade numbers actually are. How much of it is? That's all it's showing for Miami-Dade County, as you that's can see. That's a lot of votes, 53. though. 53.6 percent for Ron DeSantis. But wait a second. That, that's, that's a lot of votes. That's a lot. I mean, you've got now two-thirds of the vote in Dade County is probably in at this point. So this hmm. is the story of Ron DeSantis trying to turn this county red. And so far he's doing it. And I can tell you from looking at the analysis of day of voting, Republicans turned out in larger numbers on day of voting, on hmm. election day voting today than Democrats did. So these numbers could get a little wider even, which looks like, again, very early, but that Ron DeSantis will do something that no Republican has done in 20 years running for governor, turn Miami-Dade County red. All right, Jim DeFeedy, host of Facing South Florida. Thanks, as always, for your analysis. Of course, it is still very early. We're expecting these numbers throughout the rest of the state to, to, to light up. We, we, look, we've already got some other counties here on the East Coast and also north of Tampa starting to turn red for Governor DeSantis. We will continue to monitor this as those numbers come in throughout the night. Jim, yep. thanks.